Not sure how to warm up your ESL class? Well, stay tuned, because today I'm giving you three new warm-up activities that you can try in your class tomorrow. Yeah, time for English. Hi, I'm Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake. For the past eight years, I've been working and living in China as a teacher, manager, and recruiter. So if you're teaching ESL abroad, make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. The warm-up, one of the most vital parts of any English lesson. The warm-up is the first five minutes of class where we get students engaged and ready for their English lesson. Activities need to be fun, they need to get students' attention, and they need to be easy and simple. By the end of this video, you're going to have three new warm-up ideas to try out in your classroom tomorrow. So let's get straight into it and talk about the first game, Yes, No. For this activity, all you're going to need are some board markers and some flashcards of previously taught vocabulary. Now to get started, you're going to position the class in a semicircle. You're going to use that board marker to write the word yes on one side of the board and no on the other. Finally, you're going to draw a line right down the middle. Next, you're going to have students stand up and line up facing the center of the board. Now, if you're working with a rather large class or if your classroom is quite small, then you can just have five or six students come up at one time. Next, you're going to show students a flashcard of a previously taught vocabulary word and ask them a yes, no question related to it. Now, depending on your student's level, you can make this question as simple or as complicated as you like. For example, a simple question might be, is this car blue? Next, students then jump to either the yes side of the board or the no side of the board, depending on their answer. Now, it's really important at this point that you have students say their answer out loud. For lower level students, you can just simply have them say the word yes or the word no, but for slightly advanced students, they should be saying sentences. For example, yes, it's blue or no, it's not blue. You can then change the flashcard to another vocabulary word and go again. Keep going until the whole class is ready to start their lesson. Now remember, as you're going through this process, you should be using TPR and Chance to help students stay engaged and remember the language quickly. If you're not sure how to use TPR in your classroom, then make sure you check out my video on TPR linked below. Next up is a fun drilling game that I like to call Speed. Now for this game, all you're going to need are some flashcards of previously taught vocabulary, which you're going to stick on the board behind you. Once again, we're going to position the class in a semicircle with you, the teacher, next to the board. Next, you're going to ask two students to come to the front and stand in front of the board. Now, there are two ways of playing this game, one way that focuses on students' speaking skills and another way that focuses on their listening. If you'd like to focus on students' speaking skills, you're going to point to one of the flashcards on the board. The two students in the middle then need to say that word out loud as quickly as possible. The fastest student to do so correctly stays in the middle. The other student returns to their seat. Another student then stands up and you go again. If you prefer to work on students' listening skills, then instead of pointing at a word on the board, you're going to say that word out loud. Students then need to hear it and go and touch that flashcard as quickly as possible. Once again, the fastest to do so correctly stays in the middle, whereas the other student returns to their seat. Again, another student comes up and we repeat the process once more. Now, what makes this game fun is the speed at which you play it. So once students are familiar with how to play the game, make sure you're switching those players as quickly as possible. This third activity is aimed at younger students that might not be ready for competitive classroom games. In this activity, we're going to use a very simple tune. Da, 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 da. Let me know in the comments below if you know where that tune is from. Next, you're going to put your hands out in front of you and wave while saying hello, and then quickly putting them behind you and saying bye bye. You can do this several times as the younger students love this kind of silly interaction. Bye bye. Now that you have students' attention, you can choose a theme such as body parts and say the chant whilst doing an action. For example, nose, nose, touch your nose, 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 touch your nose, 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 touch your nose, touch your nose with me. Hands, hands, clap your hands, 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 clap your hands, 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 clap your hands, 
clap your hands with me. Note how big my actions are and how slowly I'm singing and chanting the song. If you wanted to move away from body parts, you could then also review animals. Fly, fly like a bird. Or transportation. Drive, drive, drive my car. So there you have it, three fun and easy warm-up activities for your ESL classroom. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and by sharing with your fellow teachers. If you found it helpful, let me know by commenting the word helpful in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake. <laughs>